And then we got episode 4 that came out today, August 18th, 2015. Escape plan, bravo. Only one more episode left. Or tell her in Borderlands. Or in episode 3 that captured. The moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation, the Gortis Robot. Hi. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Pass. Enjoy that body while it's still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, I made a the con artist intervened. <gasps> that was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I hmm, I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. Endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting No. Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, it's what I did there. Yeah. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? <laughs> I seriously doubt that. Let's make a run for it. Yeah, okay, that's a good plan. No, it's it's far from a good plan. But it's the only one I've got, so let's go for it. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid, it's, it's genius. All right, going on three. One. again clearly i can't trust you two so you just gave away gordas she was taken and you were stuck under valerie's gun it was a rocket launcher okay it was massive even for her
no clue. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. <laughs> hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with him. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Don't trust her, Gordas. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here, then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... you're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone. You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. That didn't need to happen. She had nothing to do with this. She was keeping me from getting to you, so she had everything to do <clears throat> with this. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. This is not a negotiation. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters. <gasps> things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? Don't give in. I'm fine. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. No, I said I didn't want to hurt anyone that cooperates. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, okay, we'll work for you. But we get a cut. Oh, mm. that ain't a good idea. You're seriously asking for a cut while I have a knife in your sister? Clearly, I should phrase that differently. We'll discuss terms when you get back. Okay. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, You shouldn't have given in. Shut up. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. You. It's not possible. We can't. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, 
this isn't the first time we've had to get creative. We'll we'll find a okay, rocket booster. Okay, okay, come on. I'm loving your optimism. Look, I You're know what we have to do. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordus's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, how's your tum tum there, buddy? That'll teach you to hit the taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. <sighs> wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should bottle the stuff. So Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down. No, no, I'm sure there's, there's great the mission. in there oh, somewhere. Yeah, we just fault? just gotta keep looking. The one forcing us to go on a Actually, mission. I could use your help. Yeah, of course you could. Real Is that a yes or no? Reality. What? That's you think old Jack would leave his meat buddy hanging? Don't have a choice. I Valerie's kind of got us back into a corner. Honestly, don't know how to answer that. You don't think I know that? Then maybe All try right, coming look, up with a few solutions. I know we've had our differences, okay, and I'll one. admit I can get pretty grouchy when I don't you get my own way. Do but to maximize Fine. our chances, I'm ready to bury the hatchet. I don't know, but I know we have to. It's a metaphorical hatchet, especially because I know I don't really have any hands right now. Oh, she's a real bitch, I tell you what. You help us out, and you can consider that hatchet good and buried. Then it's a deal, Daddy-o. Stick with a verbal agreement, shall we? Yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Everyone just please shut up for a second. Again, because here, here's, here's the deal. I... The beacon is in handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey. Put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reese the location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> Man, how many people you gotta kill to get an office like that? Millions. I get that you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss! And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell Yvette we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then, I'll disable the security system. Yeah, it'll work. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the Hub of Heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides.
From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale, I'll digistruct a vast skies. But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom! What do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds Technology. Gotta love it. Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, you were acting pretty strange after we got out of the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're a hundred percent. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. Here's why you don't need to worry. Because we're friggin' Team Awesome! And August, that's why. Together, nothing can stop us. Eh? Bring it in. For the real thing, let's hug it out. Um, don't no. look at me. I'll kill you. G go team! <laughs> All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. Well, that was interesting, I guess. Ways to do different stuff, I guess. Probably a pretty good plan, even though the plan's not even gonna work. It's all gonna go to hell. Reese is just talking out of his goddamn genius with that mission plan. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Cause he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. A pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just stick to the old con. We're professional racers. He looks like he lives on a diet of car exhaust and old ham. I doubt he'll see through it. He does smell like ham. Ha! As I live and breathe, the fried Fiona, looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or, oh shoot, uh, like racing's just in your veins, is all I'm saying. I'll shut up. Scooter, great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just, mm. Go on, haha. <laughs> nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog somebody whacked a few times with a tire iron until it popped. But anyway, it's great to see you! What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing, no. It's, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. Uh, would one of you, like, open your mouths and make with the wording so I can... I can shut mine? We need your help. 
Valerie's after us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket and fly to Helios, we're all dead. Y'all need me? Oh, man. I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving all their lives and whatnot. Well, you're not quite... Uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh. Just let him have this. I'm gonna be a hero! Woo! That all sounds great! Only problem is funding? No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it! Oh, wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Cause look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Oh, no. Janie's been like that since she heard about some big bald hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. Athena ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't much of a mood to do rocket stuff. Maybe you should talk to her, Fee. You're the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. Hi, Janie. Hi, hat girl. She said it was just an easy protection job. As if anything's ever easy out here. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I heard the two of you talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she was protecting you, but why? She said it wouldn't be dangerous. She said... She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It doesn't make sense. She can't... Damn it. Two Vault Hunters ambushed her. Which ones? Brick and, uh... Mordecai. She would have beaten them, too, if Valerie hadn't attacked. Brick. Mordecai. Good to know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on! You just gotta- I just want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. Like maybe I was just a fluke or something. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh. Goodness. Okay. Oh. Wow. Young lady, you are gonna have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm gonna grab every gun I can carry, I'm gonna drive out of here, I'm gonna rescue my girlfriend, and I'm gonna marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just, just wow. What do you say, ladies? But you've already done... Deal. Okay, I heard one of y'all say deal, so let's go with that. Woo! Up top, Space Buddies! Ugh. Hey, I'd rather deal with him for a few hours than be stranded up there with a busted engine. Yeah, I guess. Fine. I really didn't ask for the chick to come on board. What the hell? All they had to do was ask the chick. 
Not ask Scooter, but whatever. I think I gotta go get the body of Vespers. Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the Okay, I get it. Off you go. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not crap our pants. Now you ah! are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reese. It's well, it's huge. Two out of three ain't bad. Uh, you know what? It's probably not a bad idea to get uh, a little dumpy rocking for some robo scouting. Yeah, yeah. Let the shiny toaster get blown to nuts and bolts instead of us. Dumpy, I need you to go scout out ahead. Can you do that? Uh, that doesn't fill me with confidence. Dumpy, over there. Look at Dumpy go! And do nothing! Yeah, you better run. Uh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. I like this. Dude's mom was what? In the words of William Shakespeare, la 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 la. What? You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. What's his face been eating off? Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. Oh, uh, uh. What were the pepperonis? Mm, a skin pizza. Oh, you mm. clearly haven't been on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh -huh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. All right, look, Reese, what happened between you and me, that's in the past, okay? It's almost like it never happened. Let's just drop it, okay? So we can focus on finding the face. Okie dokie, I'll drop it like a moonshot into a basket full of puppies. No problemo. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? <clears throat> well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. <sighs> How am I going to find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Scanning. 
Scanning. Ooh, Vasquez wasn't that ugly. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Uh, careful now, I don't wanna end Oof, up psycho disturbing. dinner. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. Psycho! Dumpy, attack! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. Swat metal buck. Thanks, Dumpy. Oh. Yeah. Right back at you. Oh, little baby butt did good. Electroshock therapy. I like that. that that's that's classy. Gotta use that little shock around my ex-girlfriend. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became a leader without dirtying their hands. Oh, you're gonna get Hugo McSwoopy Hair's face back? No problem. Next stop, Hyperion, baby. Huh. Kinda looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. Looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Get me back to Healy. Oof, that is one ugly mug. Um, where, where am I gonna put it? Cram it in your pocket, I don't know. I, I can't mess up his face or the Digistruck won't work. Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh, hmm. Okay, just peeling it off, peeling off the face, not going to barf into his mouth, <laughs> with your mouth. <sighs> That's it, go on, peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so... That, that is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch it off. Just pinch it oh, off. Right seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, gross. Oh. <laughs> Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! So, once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Could even count them all. You were too busy trying to save face. Okay, technically it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of which could so one one yeah so i go with chest bomb boom you said something about a bomb psycho oh yeah there <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude! Oh, we were... supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it, baby. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. Ugh. 
Oh, that's lame. We need to scan the face. Wow, well, that suck. We didn't get to scan the face. That's very disappointing. I want to see how we're going to scan the face. Maybe you have to do that at Hyperion office or something. Scan the face or something. That's it, man. <laughs>